You thought that you could get the drop on me? <laughs> I don't think so. Sleep. Ah, you're awake. You thought you could creep into my castle and surprise me. Really? Is this what you thought you could do? Silly, foolish vampire hunter. How do I know you're a vampire hunter? Well, besides the fact that you're wearing a very enormous cross, I might add, um, several bottles of holy water, a gun with silver bullets, you must be hunting werewolves as well. And this. A big, giant, wooden stick. I imagine that you thought you would come into my castle and drive this straight through my vampire heart. Uh -uh. I'm sorry to inform you. That there will be no staking done today. You will just have to mm, come to terms with that. It was very crudely done, but good wooden stake, by the way. I feel like it would have done the job if you weren't so foolhardy. Thinking that you could surprise me. Mm, what am I going to do with you? Well, that's easy. I'm going to drain you dry. I despise vampire and monster hunters. They go around thinking that they're better than the rest of us. That they get to decide who lives and who dies. Well, today I will take a page from your book and you will die. I will take your life, draining you entirely. And then I have this gorgeous thing you see here. We have this thing that I shall lay upon your grave. Just so. So that any vampire hunter will know not to mess with the vampire in this castle. Or they will. Let them come. Let them try to kill me. Let them try to stick me through the heart. They won't be able to do it. I am hundreds and hundreds of years older than you peasant folks, running around with your crucifixes and holy water, thinking that you're doing the Lord's work, ridding the world of us monsters. Well, I have a rude awakening for you. Us monsters are here to stay. We don't want to leave. And your ways of hunting us are getting tiring and boring. We know just what to expect now. All we have to do is train our noses to smell silver mixed with garlic and some sort of freshly hard wood. It's like you're all wearing the same cologne. The most easiest alarm that we could have for you. Oh, you're trying to get out of your ropes. It's not going to happen. 
You will be my prey. I was going to go out and hunt a deer for dinner, but I'd rather have you, my dear, instead. I don't want to waste a single drop of your murderous blood. I truly thought that you would be disgusting and that I would have to chalk down your blood as I drained you. But uh, alas, you're so delectable. One of the most delicious humans I've ever had. Ah, you do know, by the way, that I am a vampire that does not kill. Oh, no, no. I usually drink animal blood. And then there are several donors, you might not believe it, that wish to be fed on by vampire nobles. So they donate themselves to me whenever I wish. I never have to kill a single soul. You will be my first kill in hundreds of years. Well deserve it, though. I'm going oh, to enjoy this. I'm going to have so much satisfaction from training you entirely. so tempting actually. However, I feel like this would give you an opportunity to escape somehow. Some hidden way that I wouldn't perceive or for your little hunters to somehow find you and not try to attack me. No, instead free you from your shackles. I cannot, cannot let this happen. But, but your blood is so delicious. Oh, oh what a terrible conundrum. Drain you, end your life. Lay the flowers upon your grave. Or, keep you as a prisoner to be my blood source whenever I please. My walking bag of flesh filled with delicious blood. What would you prefer? No, don't answer that. I don't care. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. What to do, what to do. In the meantime, I think I will have one last little taste. Try not to drain you, unless I decide to drain you anyways. <laughs> no. I mustn't. I will let you live in my dungeon, shackled. Hopefully you won't catch pneumonia. It is very cold and damp down here. I will be back with some warm soup and bread for you so that you may recharge and not die. I think I'd like to give you a present to myself. A blood source that I can drink from and drain whenever I so choose. Oh, you whiny, whiny little vampire hunter. Hush. Quiet. You will probably pass out now. You'll wake up when I bring you your... Supper. <laughs>